Rock, 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 barrel on the track, boy. Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So today, I'm going to do a little uh, hard drive tutorial for you. So this right here, if you're going to be doing hard drives, I, ex I, would, I would say get you a little set of tools like this. Um, it's got all the different heads, it's got the safety bits, it's got all that stuff in it. It will come in play when you start messing with these. Um, Cause you get t25s and and other sizes and each hard drive has two or three different sizes and yeah so that starts it off um but y'all stay tuned i'm gonna show you a couple different types of hard drives what the boards go is and that kind of thing gopro stop recording all right so we'll start off with your normal hard drive here um, comes out of your desktop computers <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you how I do this it does not mean it's the correct way it does not mean it's the only way it's just the way that I do it so it's a t10h all right so and that's too big <laughs> As I said, having that little tray of different things is handy. All right, so this is the uh, the back piece on here. Um, there we go. <clears throat> All right, hard drive. So this is a, a Seagate hard drive. Um, it's showing I'm looking at it upside down I don't know somewhere on here it'll tell you you know its size um, this is the back this is what you sell to board sort which board sort will buy the whole thing you know as it is but if you're shipping it it gets heavy really fast hard drives are quite heavy so we strip these screws out of this And I've done videos on SATA and non-SATA for the boards before. But I'll do a little brief on that real quick as we go. <clears throat> Missed that one. Alright, so just like that, you take your screws out, the board comes right off. Not a problem whatsoever. So, I split these by SATA and non-SATA, and as I've told you before, the only difference is whether it has pins or if it has this. Um, yeah, I don't think I have a big one sitting over here I can show you, but it's, it's the same thing for the small hard drives. So, I'll take a quick second here, and I'll just show you on the, on the small hard drive. So SATA and non-SATA, you got pins, there's nothing behind it, and then the other, you got like fingers, and on the other side it's plastic. So that's your difference between SATA and non-SATA, that's the difference between the high grade and the low grade. <clears throat> so I just take these, toss them over here to the side. Now, me being me, because I'm me, and this is the way I like to do it, I grab a small screwdriver, and I try to get this part off, which, this one's silver, so normally I wouldn't worry about it on this one, but I'm just showing y'all. Most of the time, this is going to be gold instead of silver. So... I personally like to let's raise that up for you normally these are gold instead of silver so I normally take this out I cut this piece out whatever is gold and the rest of it I throw in with the wires 
because wires add up. So normally if you can get it started, these are a little bit of a pain and a small screwdriver is the best way I've seen to do it. Get it started, you grab it. And then you just peel it right off of there. Peel it on up. And as you can see, they're silver. So I'll just toss the whole thing in with the wires. So that's the first thing I do. And that's probably the where you should stop at. These, you should probably beat them with a hammer and break a disc inside, toss them in the aluminum breakage. But I think I'm gonna take these off. And eventually I'm gonna invest in a drill so it'll be a lot faster. But I need a few different size drills and stuff that I can dedicate to different screws and I have to exchange bits all the time because that gets to it gets to be a pain and takes a lot of time searching for the right size bit so at this point you would think that it's ready to come off I guarantee it's not there's always one somewhere that's hidden always one that's hidden that is the worst thing to learn about these so once you get that you just go up under the side because that's the airtight seal now these you've got different things when it comes to this so some are magnetic and some aren't so you have to separate the, the difference So none of them are magnetic. So some are pretty much stainless steel. This actually is going to be aluminum, I do believe, but that's going to be stainless steel. So another way to get some money out. Now at this point, you can go as far as you want. If you want your magnets, you can take your magnets out. I've done complete breakdowns before, and I'm going to do that on this one just as you want. But you have to decide where you're comfortable breaking down to and wanting to stop it and how much stuff you want to try to get out of these. <clears throat> if you're doing it, the normal, normal thing is, are you doing it for how much value, the most value you can get out of it, or are you doing it by how much money you can make an hour? Um, that's your that's your biggest difference. You get your fingers caught between these, you're gonna know it. It gets quite painful quite fast. So. All right, so on the other side of this, some of these have a screw on the other side that you can take out. That one doesn't, that one's just a pin. So you'll have to pry this one out. All right. So this right here pops out. All you gotta do is push on this side. Once you've gotten those screws out of it, it's loose. You can take this and position it wherever you want. Get your screwdriver put up underneath that bad boy.
That one's seriously being tough. Normally they aren't that bad. But anyway, this is aluminum. As well as the case is aluminum. There it goes. <laughs> now, some of you might be wondering why would you break that down? It doesn't look like there's really any value in there. So these you can sell them online. Some people use them for different things. Uh, some of the people in the silver community can take the magnets off and make a slide out of it. That's a good way to test your silver to see if it's, you know, actual silver or if somebody fakes something. Um, I have a gentleman in the gold prospecting community that is uh, trying something out with these to see if it'll work. So that may come up in the future. So I'm holding them for him right now, which I've got a bunch of boxes. This right here, as you can see, these pins are normally gold. Um, and then coming down the side right here, there's a little pure gold line that runs down the side. And some of them have a chip up here too. So I've been collecting these. Now this wire in the back here, this is not actual copper. This is that Chinese, you know, aluminum made to look like copper. So, <clears throat> this has got to finish coming out to make this completely aluminum. And then you've got your hard drive disc here. Now, in the process of taking this out, if at any point you mess up a screw, you're in trouble because you're probably not going to get it open or finished. That's with the whole hard drive. If it's the cover or the board, you can at least rip it out, uh, break it off right there at it. If it's this, you're kind of SOL. And this stuff comes off. Now this stuff, you have a few options with. Oh, don't forget to get that rubber seal right there. Um, with these, you have a few different options. You can check them, see if they're aluminum or not aluminum. Uh, I've heard there's a bunch of teachers and different people that do arts and crafts with this stuff, so you can sell them by the box online. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. Um, once you've taken that off, your disc, will just fall out. These can be sold to board sword at 25 cent a pound. These are super heavy. I don't think it's worth mailing it to them though. Not at 25 cent a pound. Um, but this is definitely, especially if you're running a business, you need to damage these to protect people's privacy and information. That way nothing can be read off of them. So whether you stop before that point or if you go all the way to that point, that's what you need to do. So now you're down to what's left. So this is aluminum. You'll have to pry this out. Find something to set this on and get you a, a punch. Put right there and smack it one time with a hammer. And this motor in the center will come right out. <clears throat> but you got to clean all of this stuff off of it all the stickers and everything make sure there's no metal pins this is going to have some magnetism to it so you want to take this out um, but to get cast aluminum price there we go you have to make sure you've got everything clean because some places are picky here's another sticker all these little stickers you'll have to take them off at that point you would have cast aluminum i have broken stuff down to that point plenty of times um and sold it that way put the motors in the motors cast aluminum cast aluminum 
But if you're running a business, you don't have the time to break it all the way down to that to get the absolute most value. Because I took like 500 pounds of these and cashed it in one time. Didn't take but about three or four totes, something like that. So they, they add up pretty quick. But the manpower, I mean, look at how long this video has been going. It just, it's not worth it, honestly. You're paying more out for somebody to break something down than you're paying for you know whatever else so this is your laptop hard drives let's get one that has a board on it hey there we go so again this is going to be a low grade it's got plastic behind it <clears throat> not the same screwdriver or not the same bit we got to go smaller maybe even smaller there we go so this is a uh, T6, T6H actually. Um, so again, take screws out. Yeah, some people don't even bother with the low grade boards. They just send the whole thing in as uh, aluminum breakage. me i think it's worth taking the boards off have i sat down and done a complete you know time analysis no but there's a low grade board and again if you're doing it with the drill it would be faster but i'm sure y'all don't want to hear all that and that's going to be a video coming out here soon there's some stuff that i recently got a good deal on so as you can see this one's got gold in it and i keep that so i can process that gold So, I get it started good. Grab it, which sometimes you have to use needle nose because you can't get your little fingers in there. Grab that little piece and pry it right off of there. And I'll grab it and go ahead and pull it all the way up. Sometimes there's gold on this. This one doesn't have any. So like I said, I'll take this part and I cut it and I dump this into the bucket where I'm collecting. This part goes to the wire. This part goes to my gold that I'm collecting. <coughs> that part's done. Again, you can put a punch there and knock that motor right out of it when you get to that point. This over here is a different bit. Um... Where'd it go? Normally this one does pretty good. Oh no, actually, that's probably the same. It's quite interesting. Yep, same. So take your screws out of this side. Again, there is always at least one hiding. Most time you can feel it. There's a ring right there, so it's gonna be a good place to start. Not there. Don't believe it's there either. Huh. Interesting. Anything on this side is always worth opening so you don't find yourself struggling later because quite often there is a screw underneath those. friend running around having fun we'll take these out there we go 
Apparently there's still another one. That's going to be it right there. There we go. Always at least one hiding. So this one had three under stickers. And you'll be trying to pry that thing off forever if you haven't gotten them all. There actually might be another one. Yeah, it's acting like there's another one somewhere. Sometimes it's easier, you can see it if you look at it sideways. That would probably be a good sign that there's one there. Each company does it different, so you have to figure out each company. Sometimes you just gotta pry it up until you can see it inside. Pry it open, you can see it's creasing right here. So that means there's gonna be another one right here. Alright. Again, these. <coughs> See, that one's. <coughs> so, that's going to be stainless steel. And then you're back to the exact same setup on the inside as the big ones. No difference. Uh, everything comes out the same. One screw holding this in instead of a bunch on the outside. So you can do the exact same tear down with that as you would the big ones, it's no difference. So the other type of hard drive now, and this is the newer stuff. As you can see, there's no spot for a motor. There's nothing on the outside. It's a complete aluminum case. <clears throat> and most of the time these are regular Phillips screws so far that I've seen. These are super simple, super easy to tear down. But these are your solid state hard drives. I think they're called solid state because nothing moves inside of them. Same thing, you gotta test make sure it's aluminum and not stainless steel pull that little piece out here and right now for these it's a little bit different it's determined upon by how many chips are on there as to whether it's high grade or low grade i do believe this would be high grade it's got plenty of chips on there even though the fingers are are the the low grade it's determined by the number of chips um, that's the way I was taught so that's what I'm going with for now this is aluminum so you just got to clean it off there's your cast aluminum this right here is aluminum as well so you got to clean that sticker off and clean this uh, sticker off on the inside here that you can barely see and toss them in with your aluminum so this would be more sheet aluminum and this would be cast aluminum so that's pretty much breakdown of your hard drives that's the three different types and um that's that so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me ask away i'll be glad to help you out emails posted on the about page 
So, we'll catch you next time. GoPro, stop recording.